Hey everyone, I'm Rob from Free Range Camping. Pretty excited today, I'm putting one of these Topogy water gauges. Why I'm excited? Because you don't need to drill into the water tank to fit them. They fit externally with this great little device here which measures, measures the water flow and gives you the reading to the litre. So very accurate and easy to fit. So I'm going to show you how to fit one shortly. So these are our existing water gauges. We've got three tanks in all. And as you can see with these, they only give you a rough guide. You either full, half, quarter or reserve. And that tells you you're near empty, but you've still got no real indication how much water you've got left in the tank. Whereas these guys will give you an accurate litre reading and also show the water as it flows through. There's two models to choose from. There's the flush mount unit, which you have to hardwire into your existing 12 volt system. Or there's a surface mount unit, which is battery operated. When you purchase the unit, you'll get everything you need to install it. It comes with the actual display head, and that's got 1.4 meters of cable. You also get the sender unit, which fits down near the pump. You can also buy the extension leads in 1.4 meter lengths, and you can join as many of these as you need to together to cover your overall length. Today, we're gonna to install the surface mount unit because we didn't have any room to run the wire up through the cavity. So we've decided to put it up through the drawers and then we'll mount it on the wall using the double-sided tape that comes with the unit. So if you fit in the flush mount unit, it'd just be a matter of cutting the hole where you wanted it and then pushing the unit into place and using the screws provided to secure it. Once you've decided where you want to put it, it's just a matter of pre-drilling your holes and then feeding your wiring through. Uh, in our case, back through the cupboards here and then down through the floor to the undercarriage of the motorhome. So I'm under the bus now and the next thing is, in my case, I'm going to get the uh, extension lead and just run it out along where it needs to go. So what you've got to do next is locate your pump and then decide where to put the sender unit. Now the sender unit ideally should be at least 200 millimetres away from the outlet of the pump but before any branches in the pipework that go to any taps. So in my case, I'm going to have to move the first branch that I have here and the unit should be sitting just about here. I'm just going to prepare the unit and what you'll see is a little arrow that shows you the water flow direction and then I'm using the John guest fittings for my system. So quite easy, these just screw onto each end. Just be sure to use a bit of plumbing tape to make sure there's no leaks. You can then tighten it with some multi-grips, but don't over tighten it because it's only plastic thread. So once you've done that, just gently pull the existing plumbing off your pump. And then you can put the sender unit in place. Now the good thing about the John Guest fittings is that they just push in. So just firmly push the pipe into the fitting at one end. Just make sure the arrow is in the right direction of the water flow and then push the other end of the fitting into the pipework. Now what this will do is this now as the water flows through the unit, it will measure the amount of water you're using. So you see the sender unit here and it's been placed after the pump but before all the hoses start to branch out, you can see they branch out in my case up here and down this way as well. Then all you need to do is plug your extension lead into the sender unit. Then make sure your cabling's tidy by using cable ties to pin it to the frame or the chassis of your vehicle. So back in the motorhome, it's just a matter then of uh, inserting the batteries, this being the surface mount unit, it's battery operated. They just slip in, clip on, and then we're ready to test the unit. So now for the unit to work accurately, what we're gonna do is program it to the approximate number of litres of your tank. So you press the program button, and then you press the display button. And you keep pressing the program button till you get to the digits you want and gradually increase them one at a time. So in this case, I'm gonna set it to 300 litres. So just press the program button, enter three. Keep pressing the program button. You'll then hear a beep and the unit is now set at 300 litres and we'll count backwards from that. Now, the way it works, you can either press the display button and it'll show you how many litres you've got left well, once you turn your tap on, you'll notice some lines at the top and that'll indicate the water's flowing and as you watch, it'll start to show you how much water you've got left in the tank. So as it uses the water, it counts back down. So that's how to fit the Topogy water tank gauge and absolute big bonus that nothing's fitted to the tank. You can see how easy it was to fit and they're available in two models, the flush mount or the surface mount and they'll give you accurate water readings which are going to be ideal for for free camping or times where it's critical, you know how much water that you've got.